Um, and then Denise, the last question that I had here um, from the post, Denise asks, can you touch on muscle soreness and any hacks that you have? My quads are always fatigued and hurt right after my workouts and sometimes take a while to recover. So the first thing I'll say is um, no matter, you know, how experienced you are or, you know, where you're coming from, if you start a new training program um, and start something different that you haven't been doing in the past, it's absolutely normal for you to feel some soreness, even that lingers for a few weeks in the beginning um, until your body adapts to that, right? So it's totally normal to feel some soreness there. Um, within the amount of soreness that you're feeling, if that is lingering for a long time and if you feel like you're still not recovering from that, um, it could be that maybe you are pushing a little bit too hard um, for in with that muscle group. Maybe your quads are just really strong, so you feel really strong with those, and then you're pushing that during your sessions. Might mean to might mean that you need to pull back a little bit. Um, another anecdotal example: I uh, came back from my trip last week. I had a f kind of a full week off. Um, a deal I put in a deload week for myself because I was traveling, so it just kind of worked out with my schedule. Um, came back and did a lower body workout. I think it was on Wednesday of last week and I completely overdid it with my quads. I was, I, I was trying to testing out a new exercise that will be in the next phase. Um, and I was sore for like, I hadn't felt that sore in like so long. I was sore for four days and I had to actually adjust my training because my quads were just, they were just toast. Um, so I knew that I, that I overdid it. I overdid it with, um, with the movement, with the amount that I did the volume and probably the intensity a little bit. Um, so it's kind of one of those things is just a learning, a learning process. Um, Christina said Epsom salt baths for sore muscles helped me. Yep, exactly. That's a, that's a great kind of trick. There's some different, uh, different things that you can implement Epsom salt baths. Um, you know, making sure that you are, you know, getting enough, um, getting a post-workout meal in. So if you're, you know, paying attention to kind of your nutrition around your workouts, if you're noticing a lot of soreness and a, and a little bit of a struggle recovering from your workouts, it might mean that you need to add a little bit more protein and potentially a little bit more carbs post-workout if you can. Um, so yeah, and then also electrolytes too are very important if you're feeling like crampy or anything like that. Um, but in terms of muscle soreness and hacks, Really, it's it's a, just time and patience with adjusting to the new program and realizing that you have to um, pull back a little bit if you are experiencing like some some soreness that isn't going away. Might mean that okay, instead of like for example, I had to adjust my training. I think it was four days after that because I was still sore. Um, and so it's normal to feel some soreness, but if you have that lingering soreness and you have a, a workout coming up that is a quad focused workout or a movement that's quad focused and you are like, I still can't even walk normal, which was me last week, then it might mean that you need to skip that movement for that week, right? And so this is where being aware of what's happening, realizing that you don't have to, um, like there's going to be some times where, yes, you want to push through it, but if it's something where it's like, like, you know, you're like, this is not, uh, this is not going to be advantageous because there is a point that your body will not respond to what you're doing. Like if you, and that's why we, that's why when I program your training, it's set up specifically throughout the week, right? There's different, you're hitting, we're hitting different muscle groups. They're set up in different, um, different ways to make sure that we're not overtraining as much as possible and that we're hitting different muscle groups throughout the week so that we have time to recover those muscle groups, right? And that's why the, the workouts are kind of laid out the way they are. Um, and so again, it takes, it takes time. It takes getting a little bit more experience with going through these different workouts. Um, so yeah, hopefully, hopefully that helps a little bit. 